this video tutorial with me, Wayne, from drclean.co.uk. In this tutorial, we're going to iron a pleated skirt. Right, this skirt has a belt which we've removed, we think, so we're just going to deal with that first. Um, look at the other side, and it's a fitted belt. You can see it's actually going round the iron. If we are iron on one side, and just roll it down the middle of the iron. Turn the belt down the board, notice we're putting no stretch on this particular garment at all. Belt at all. The reason we're putting no stretch is because it's obviously shaped for a reason and we don't want to distort that shape. And if you uh, iron under pressure, under stretch, you'll actually tend to distort something some way or other. And it's got a zip, so we'll just undo the zip. And this is going to be our anchor point effectively for the skirt. First of all, we'll take out the lining and we'll run over the whole lining from the inside. So we're starting at one inch. And like all things, we're going to pull, pull it towards us. Then it goes up to the waistband, so pull it up and down. And then holding it in place sure the vacuum's working. It is a uh, synthetic lining that feel of it. Um, and so you'll be slightly careful that you don't overheat it. We've got a shoe, a Teflon shoe on this, uh, which makes it safe. But if you haven't got a Teflon shoe, make sure uh, that you're setting on the line and that's correct. There we go. So we're now onto the main part of the skirt and what we've got is the pleats start coming in from here so what we're going to do is we're going to go around the whole skirt just effectively down to those pleats pulling the head of the pleat you can see just pulling to make sure that it actually flat but all we're doing effectively is one section at a time Clipping in down to that pleated area, which we're going to go over. The pleats for this go one way and then another. So the last section here. Okay. We're now going to come around the skirt, going the other way. So we're going to actually flatten it out really nice finish. I'm going to stretch this to it, but once again, stretching is only necessary when you want something absolutely flat. And here, you don't make any distortion at all. We're halfway around the skirt, it's quite quick. Okay, so now we're going to line up our pleats. What we want to do is we want to get each one in separately to make sure it's absolutely flat. The maximum number we're going to be able to do at seams is two. What we want to do is try and make sure that the feet is flat and the end is flat. That way you know your piece is flat. So if your end is flat, put your arm on your end, and you run up the pleat at the time. So that pleat's in, and then we're going to go to the next pleat. We're putting in two pleats at once, but only actually ironing one pleat. And the reason for that is that I don't particularly relish the thought of going wrong on a second pleat. Obviously this is a very fitted skirt, so I'm putting in this pleat sure it's absolutely correct. And I'll only do that one pleat all the way. Now if you really wanted to, you could do this from the inside out if, you're, if it's a thick material and you're concerned about um, a, 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 a false pleat where you've got the bend coming over. You sort of get a shadow of a pleat. You know do that in skirt, so We'll put double pleat in the middle, so that'll be interesting. Straight up and down, 
no nonsense, we don't have to mess about. Right, now this is a double pleat, so we hold one in, It's worth taking just a little bit of time, making sure that's absolutely flat at the bottom. Together, and if you pull it, you'll see the dog is going to shake, lift it slightly, and it is in really well. Now it's going reversed. And again we're on the seam, so we're halfway round. The seam is slightly difficult because they don't fully necessarily completely in. But that section That width of that eye, that's the only thing we're doing. You don't have to do any more than that. Just feel with your fingers, judge if the pleat underneath is the same width the whole way up. So effectively what you've got is you've got an, arm on, an edge on two parts of your finger. And as you run your finger up the pleat, that shouldn't move. So, so if it's that wide there, it should be that wide at the top. So there's the finger, run it up. If it changes position, it's all you've got a problem, but if it doesn't change position, then you go straight. And here we are, our very last pleat. Slightly more difficult because it is on the edge. on the garment itself to get absolutely certain as it's straight. And we've got the lining coming in there, which is why I've moved it over. The lining's attached there, so I've got to move it over to try and move it straight. Again, we the finger trick. The finger is slightly wider at the bottom of the at the top. So let's readjust that. Now we have actually done the whole skirt. And all we need to do is hang it on a hanger and make sure 